Hello, so I was browsing TikTok yesterday and I saw a video of the rally in front of Comelec and I looked at the comment section and I saw this comment. He said, Nanalo man sila, hindi sila tama. Now, I just want to react to this comment kasi feeling entitled yung nag-comment. Number one, talo ka na. The best thing you can do is to accept defeat. Acceptance is the key. Now, if you think denaya kayo, of course you can protest. But please, do it the right way. You can submit a petition, a motion, na denaya kayo, and submit it with your evidences na denaya nga kayo. There is due process for that. You cannot just go to the street and say, mali yung eleksyon, tama kami. Mali yun. That's not the right mindset. Number two, the Philippines is a democratic country. The rule is the majority wins. And the majority of the people have spoken. The gap is 16 million. We're not talking about 100,000. We're not talking about half a million. We're not talking about 1 million. We're talking about 16 million. Number three, if you're thinking hindi sila tama, so you're saying kayo yung tama or ikaw yung tama. And I don't know where this is coming from. Are you thinking kayo yung tama because you studied? This doesn't sound like something an educated person would say. The goal of education is not manliit ng ibang tao. The goal of education is not parang feeling mo superior ka sa iba. Do not confuse your diploma with intelligence. Porque nakatapos ka doesn't mean matalino ka. An educated person doesn't have to say that he or she is educated. It will show the way you speak, the way you react, the way you think. Now, I was very quiet about the election for so many months. I did not want to react about it. Until my friend told me, kaya lang naman number one si BBM sa 7-Eleven kasi mga mahihirap lang pumupunta sa 7-Eleven eh. And I lost respect for that friend. You cannot belittle the small people. You cannot do that. And I really don't like it when somebody is saying things like that because I know how it feels to be so poor. And remember, life is not constant. Yung mga maliliit today could become millionaires or billionaires tomorrow. And yung mga mayayaman today could become poor. 